Okay, we'll we'll start uh, since we're a bit um, a bit slow with time. So, uh, as um, well, thank you, Mario and and Max for the introduction and the insights of how uh, Europe and Spain see the the these innovation hubs within their strategies. So, as it has been already introduced, and many of you know already, I4MS was the uh, starter or the starting initiative for promoting many of the different concepts that were mentioned throughout the, um, the, the presentations before. So, I4MS started in 2013 with the last call from Factors of the Future um, from the ICT, from the eConnect um, uh, part and it, it started with 77 million that was upgraded up to 30, 35 more. Uh, so we, we see here uh, we've got uh, like 110 million from the first two phases and 34 million that will be um, for those four projects is starting now in October. Um, the goal of I4MS has been from the very, very beginning to enable and foster collaboration mainly for those SMEs and mid-caps for manufacturing um, companies in different, in different uh, areas of their value chains. So we're covering different uh, topics always around the digitalization of Europe, uh, European uh, industry, around the concept of industry for the zero, and those concepts we will, uh, I will explain later on how they've been embedded in the different phases of I4MS. Um, the way we've been um, achieving those, those objectives throughout I4MS has been by, by running experiments, following the concept of experiments, uh, coached and uh, helped technically by those digital innovation hubs. And by, by this means, we've been able to upgrade products, services, and also to change uh, at some points also the, the type of business uh, models that these companies were, were having till, till now. Um, so in this in this initiative, we see different uh, ways of uh, obtaining value. It's not only SMEs that obtain these benefits; it's also those IVS, uh, the the digital innovation hubs that also engage in the interaction. Let's say SMEs clearly benefit by the technical uh, aspects that they obtain. Could be uh, using HPC, uh, embedding robotic solutions to their lines, any any type of, of technical aspect covered by the projects. But IBS, uh, so the innovation suppliers and these innovation hubs, also gain the opportunity of using that technology in a very vast amount of different uh, examples, different sectors, different problems. Also get to know um, firsthand what is the real need of industry? How can I use it, use my technology in a way that I really solve problems? So I really obtain, um, a, let's say, a product out of my technology. So TRLs, TRLs are always very, very high in all the projects that we are uh, covering in I4MS. As said, uh, in our uh, digital economy, we're more service-oriented than product-oriented. And embedding and using all these digital uh, skills, digital technology, is enabling us to make this, this big change. So, uh, I4MS has gone through two different phases. We're starting a third phase in the next coming months. Uh, throughout the phases, uh, there, there has been a plan. So initially, the, the aim was to create the brand, create the ecosystem, promote the interaction of those different projects and also the community that was needing and willing to, to use that technology. So projects started in 2013. Those were, in reality, IPs because they were coming from FP7, but there were seven projects, big projects, and one CSA coordinated by, by, by uh, Innovalia. So the projects that we're covering, these uh, different um, topics that you see here, so HPC with mainly on simulation, advanced laser uh, solutions, uh, robotic systems, and also intelligent features. We uh, uh, achieved, uh, I would say, a major success throughout these seven projects. We ran 195 experiments, all those embed SMEs. 39 digital innovation hubs were providing um, their technology uh, uh, experience, and 210 SMEs and mid-caps were uh, embedded in those experiments. You may think, okay, why is it uh, higher? Because some of those SMEs were also ISVs, or all were also engaged in the technical 
uh, provision of, of those um, skills or technologies. So um, the, the I4MS has, in a way, started this scheme of having regional digital innovation hubs, so those hubs that could be a diverse type of entities, universities, RTOs, or even companies that are providing this, or group of companies that are providing this, this uh, technology with a very targeted uh, in objectives to, to solve a specific problem. So, um, although we will go through the day about uh, different ways uh, of these innovation hubs from, uh, working in the, in the ecosystem, but this was the first, the first phase. So in the second phase, we, we had four new projects. We included new uh, topics within the portfolio of projects that we had, uh, introducing um, uh, uh, cyber physical systems um, and also uh, providing a new turn to the HPC uh, project, which was provide this big data analytics that was previously not uh, um, included in the in the project. So in the phase two, we we had 60 experiments. So it's four projects, not like in the previous one we had seven. So it's four projects, mm -hmm. six experiments. We have here 12 more mentioned because there are still two open calls that will be launched in November by the two robotic projects. So stay 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 tuned for that. And uh, within those, we have 29 new digital innovation hubs. Why? Because many of the of the digital innovation hubs in those projects were already working in the previous projects. So in these uh, four projects, we have 120 SMEs. So if you start summing up, we are around 500 SMEs already uh, starting to work in these, in these projects because they've been also engaged in different other ways. So um, phase two had also some new novelties such as the cross-border dimension. We have experiments here that are not as it was maybe in the phase one, so focus on the regional aspect in terms of working with those that I know, but working also with companies that are far away uh, but have, a, have a, an issue that my uh, digital innovation hub can solve. We will have some examples about this later on throughout the day. So, um, what makes I4MS initiative different to what has been, um, in a way, offered till now? We always had SMEs in projects in, in, in uh, Europe. We always have SMEs as end users. Here we're having uh, projects that are having a kind of a core of digital innovation hubs and technological capacities, all, all of them in a very high TRL level. TRL level, sorry, and we have the end users, the SMEs, those that are have the, the problem that are willing to, to solve. They claim or they, they uh, prepare a proposal, submit it, a small proposal, 10 pages, and that uh, helps them focus not in the entire project, but in their unique and only uh, issue that they want to solve. So even if they could be in a project of 20 million, if their, exper their experiment is small, they would only be focusing on their experiment. So that is a great value for SMEs that are always thinking coming to, to Europe is a big burden in terms of uh, getting lost with papers and, and administrative issues. So um, all this has been uh, a good thing for, for SMEs. Another thing was be is also the fact that open calls have been promoted and disseminated widely. That means uh, we are having a huge amount of new uh, newcomers, those who have never been involved in EU projects, and are uh, able to, to participate in those uh, high-level projects with, with the latest technologies available. Sorry. So uh, another aspect, we are, uh, as I4MS stands for ICT Innovation for Manufacturing SMEs, it's no wonder we are focused on SMEs and manufacturing. Industry is very, very much involved in our projects. We have 560 uh, contractors, uh, 406 from industry, 84% of the industrial partners are SMEs. This is uh, a great success, as I said, 65% newcomers, those coming from from open calls. That means not only those that the, the people who are promoting the project know, they are also people, uh, companies that are not usually involved in projects also involved. And uh, we have also um, different different aspects that we can highlight as how, what, what uh, coming inside these projects brings to the different SMEs involved. So that's um, just a summary. You will see many maps throughout the day. All of them 
might have different numbers, but, but it doesn't mean that they're saying different things. We are complementary here. You see only the um, the the I4MS digital innovation hubs. You can you can see coach digital innovation hubs. Those are coming from the mentoring scheme mentioned before. Those are the ones coming from the open call, the two open calls that were launched that Mauritz will will brief us later on, and uh, the others are those that have been involved in the projects. So I'm working within an HCSA, so these are the other partners of, of my group, of my consortium that I also wanted to mention. So thank you very much. <laughs>